I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So no, he's not in the building? I I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture. Now, then. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Pinellas County, Florida, my old stomping ground, St. Petersburg. It's quite lovely down there year round. Almost no city in the United States of America gets more sunshine than St. Petersburg, Florida. However, the purpose of today's visit is because there's an idiot who thinks he has the right to pull over a sheriff's deputy because the deputy was speeding and he was in a construction zone and apparently the officer had a headlight out on his vehicle. Well, needless to say, this guy's on something. What is he on? I don't know, but you'd have to be on something to think it's okay to pull over a sheriff's deputy. No doubt about that. <laughs> Enjoy! Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, this video is from Dr. Day's Vault of Archives. You heard that correctly, Archives. That's what Goat Boy calls them. He doesn't call them Archives. He calls them Archives. Yeah, this video is quite a few years old, but I found it laying around and decided to edit for your pleasure. No doubt about that. Well, this next story you have to see to believe. A Pinellas County man publicly shaming an on-duty deputy after trying to make a citizen's arrest. Take a look. Um, the reason why I'm pulling you over today is oh, be yeah. is you. Oh, I'm, I'm actually doing a citizen's pullover right now. Yeah, that man claiming a deputy was endangering people's lives and tried holding him accountable. Our Jacqueline Glaze spoke to him tonight about his daring attempt to pull over a deputy. Yes, sir. Um, may I have your name and badge number, please? You know what Mr. Mackey from South Park says? Let's roll that clip so we know what we're talking about here. Now, as I was saying, uh, drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. Uh, if you do them, you're bad. Because drugs are bad, okay? Well, now, let's suppose this idiot doesn't do all that. And he's just stupid because he's stupid. Yeah, well, you know what? Without stupid people, we wouldn't have any, anybody to make fun of, anybody to laugh at. So, just like the sign says, take time to thank a stupid person for their contribution to being a dreg of society. Now, let's carry on and see what happens with this bloody idiot. What you're seeing unfold on camera took place at 1 this morning. Adam Bocanegra just pulled over a Pinellas County deputy and is trying to make a citizen's arrest. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but your headlight is out. Yes, I'm aware. Okay. Bocanegra says what's most concerning is what happened right before he flagged the deputy down. I see a car flying up behind me, uh, has a headlight out, and it's going easily double the speed limit in a construction zone, a one-lane construction zone. Bocanegra estimates the deputy was driving at about 60 miles per hour near the Largo Mall. Well, now, let's see if I've got all the facts correct. This idiot felt he needed to pull over a deputy because he had a headlight out and, to his estimation, he was driving at least 60 miles an hour in the construction zone. Well, now, that's all well and good, but can you prove he was driving 60 miles an hour? Ah, there's the rub, young man. You can't prove anything. By the way, what is that piercing in your mouth for? 
That just seems unsanitary to me. No doubt. But at any rate, let's carry on, find out how this ends up. The deputy offering this explanation. So you, you're unaware that I'm actually to call? But Bocanegra isn't buying it. Not using his red and blues or his sirens and basically almost running people off the road. Bocanegra says he was pulled over for a similar violation. He feels the deputy should be subject to the same punishment, a ticket. But Bocanegra decided warning the deputy did the job. So I'm actually not going to give you a ticket today. To say that this moron is a few cans short of a six-pack is not playing with a full deck or is a few fries short of a Happy Meal would be an understatement. What is wrong with this guy? I'm not going to give you a ticket today. Oh, thank you so much, sir. I'll rest so much better at night knowing that you're on the job trying to give traffic tickets to sheriff's deputies in Florida. What a moron. I have no words for this guy. Really, I don't. And uh, they're going to have a legal analyst on now. Let's hear what this legal analyst has to say. I'm, I'm not ABC Action News legal analyst Jeff Schwartz says Bocanegra is in the wrong because the deputy wasn't committing a criminal act. I think you've got a guy that's a troublemaker. I think you've got a guy that just wanted to create a problem. Tonight, Bocanegra is standing by his decision. I did it to make a statement. I did it to show that the police these days, I, I don't know what your experience is with them, but they're getting out of hand. They're taking their badge and their power to their head. For some reason, the audio became corrupt on this section of the video, but the reporter is talking about even though there may be an emergency that the officer is responding to, they are not required to activate their lights and sirens. Oh yeah, let's pick it up again. Emergencies do not have to activate their lights or siren. He says the only thing that this deputy did wrong he did not give Bocanegra his name and badge number. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office is declining to comment on this tonight. Well, there you have it, folks. Stupid is as stupid does. Why you would think you could pull over a police officer is beyond my comprehension. Yeah, I lived in St. Pete for a number of years, and I'll tell you what, those are the nicest police you'd ever want to meet down that way. And I just can't understand why this idiot did that. Now, if you look at him, his head's a little bit shaped. Isn't it shaped a little bit funny there? I don't know. Like one of those alien pictures you would see. The dark glasses don't help it either. Man, I think he's on some wacky tobacco. What do you think, my friends? You think he's on some wacky tobacco? <laughs> what else? What other explanation is there, really? You are a moron. Speaking of morons, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. You assaulted She assaulted me. Racist. Oh, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You go to jail, bro. Go ahead. Put Stop your hands on me. me bro. Put your hands on me. Bro, no I'm reason really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. We're gonna arrest you for trespassing yeah. in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's jealous. She's right in my face, guys. You, you just me? assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, you to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla hamdula, alu akbar, haknuik on the kra, ula wala fufatai. Greetings, Dr. Dave here. There was a great deal of confusion when I posted yesterday about my members only section. I will never charge to watch content on my channel ever. Let me repeat that. 
there will never be a charge to watch any videos on my channel. The members only section I was referring to is strictly for live streams. It's optional. You will never pay one single penny to watch anything on my videos or live streams. It's completely optional. If you would like to join the channel, it's up to you, but it will never cost a penny to watch anything on my channel ever. Now, let me get on with the public service announcement. Hello everyone, Dr. Dave here. Due to high demand and interest, Dr. Dave has decided to create a members only area for all his subscribers. Several badges and emojis are currently present. I'd like your feedback. What kind of badges and emojis would you like to see? And uh, right now there's only one level you can join at. Let me know what other levels you'd be interested in. I really don't want to charge people extra money for an early view of a video. I believe that everyone should see the videos when they become available. But if you're really interested in something that I can provide, let me know and I will look into it. But for now, <laughs> enjoy!